President-elect Joe Biden has already been declared the projected winner here in Nevada, but ballots, they are still being counted. And right now you're taking a look at some of those latest vote totals. You see, you see there President-elect Biden's lead here in Nevada continues to grow. Uh, in the meantime, today, President Donald Trump are calling Nevada a, quote, cesspool of fake votes in a tweet. Now, it has since been flagged for being unproven. And 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey shows how Clark County election officials are responding to these latest allegations of voter fraud. Clark County Registrar of Voters Joe Gloria says that he is confident that his system, he and his staff are doing everything that they can to complete an efficient, accurate and transparent election. He says that they are coming to the end with still a few thousand votes left to count. Gloria says he has received an affidavit making the arounds in the Republican Party from an anonymous apparent whistleblower working for the election department, claiming that he was forced to process ballots that he had concerns over. In response, the county says that that worker was a ballot processor, essentially removing the ballot still in its secrecy sleeve from the signed envelope, and that that person would not have been able to verify signatures because they didn't have access to signature records. The county says concerns could come up because, for example, someone got married and the last name on the signature did not match the name of the envelope, but that's not illegal or incorrect, and Gloria is confident the challenge is unwarranted. We've had answers for everything that has brought, been brought forward, and the PIO has released that information to the press. Uh, we've had answers for every allegation that's been brought forward, so no, I am not concerned. Gloria says the bulk of all mail ballots have already been processed. The main chunk left over are the roughly 60,000 provisional ballots that the Secretary of State's office will have to review before they can be counted. Gloria says he sent that list up to the SOS office this morning so that they can make sure every voter was eligible and did not try to vote twice. No word exactly on when that will be done so that they can be counted. All of these Republican challenges have arisen, of course, because of the race for president. The latest set of results from the county this morning show that Biden has widened his lead to about 36,000 over President Trump. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.